KSC, presence. Astrobiologist tries cooking in Antarctica at minus 94 F, minus 70 C, and the result will crack you up. Cyprian Versu is a glaciologist and astrobiologist, currently working on the most remote scientific base in the world, Concordia Station in Antarctica. Even the International Space Station, 400 kilometers above the Earth, is closer to civilization than this place, deep in the icy wastes of our most isolated and inhospitable continent. When not busy collecting samples and doing research about climate in eras past, Cyprian keeps a blog to share his experience of living in this extreme environment. The difficulties of doing the kind of things that we all take for granted make for a fascinating read. Cyprian and a small group of scientists are alone at the base in the depths of an Antarctic winter where even bacteria cannot survive. Cyprian said nine months a year, during the winter, it cannot be left or reached. It is so cold that vehicles can't come and go. We are currently 13 people, technicians, scientists, a cook and a medical doctor. The lack of oxygen and barren, desert landscape make the scientists feel like they are living on another planet. It is the coldest area on Earth, with temperatures reaching below minus 80 degrees Celsius in winter, he explained. We saw the sun again in August after three months without it ever passing the horizon. The air is extremely dry and poor in oxygen. In spite of being in an inhospitable desert, Concordia is highly attractive to researchers from different fields such as astronomy, human physiology. The European Space Agency is using it to study human adaptation to what is very similar to future conditions of a Moon or Mars base, glaciology, atmospheric sciences, and geophysics. Cyprian and his fellow scientists' work is vitally important, as it sheds light on how the climate has changed in the past, and gives an insight onto possible changes in the future. Research done here yields invaluable information on climate change, he said. It is thanks to the APICA project conducted here that we know that greenhouse gas levels, specifically carbon dioxide and methane, have never been so high in at least the past 800 years. Just for fun, Cyprian decided to go outside and have a go at cooking, taking photos of different kinds of foods in the deep freeze. Of course, it was just a game, but the gravity-defying pictures vividly illustrate the absolute intensity of the cold down there in Antarctica. This is no picnic. We run out of fresh food early in the winter, as we have no resupply from early February to early November, so we eat mostly frozen food. Given that the temperatures never are in the positive, we just store it in containers outside. Thank you for watching. And don't forget to subscribe.